Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Icon Armada helmet available at Revzilla.com. Now the Icon Air Mata is the latest and greatest in the Icon line. You're looking at a price point that's sub $200. The theme of the Air Mata is aggressively reduced and refined. And what that means is they've come out with a completely new helmet start to finish. They've refined its take and really made, made the Air Mata be more performance oriented for both the street and the track from a comfort fit aerodynamic and venting perspective. So again, completely new helmet. Now you'll see to the left that I have my Alliance. The Alliance has been tried and true staples starting at around that $150 mark. Lots of graphics, lots of solids. The Armada is a totally different helmet. Big things to think about are that we're now using four shell sizes and five EPSs. So when you think about another helmet that could be a premium helmet that uses two or three shell sizes, and then as they go up through the fit range, you're changing out EPSs, which is the protective layer inside, and you're changing out cheek pads. What the Air Mata does is if you buy a medium helmet, you're getting a medium shell with a medium EPS and medium cheek pads. So what you do is you have the ability to greatly reduce the weight. Just as a benchmark, we have a medium Air Mata, and we have a medium um, Alliance, we threw them on the scale. The Alliance came back at three pounds, 10.3 ounces, and the Armada came back at three pounds, 6.7. So again, for a polycarb helmet, that's DOT, that's also going to be ECE and the world standard, which is kind of that ECE plus from Icon, you're gonna get a helmet that's dramatically lighter. When we speak to aerodynamics, you can already see that it's a new vent configuration, a new wing configuration. It's really a new profile altogether. I'm actually gonna pull these bad boys together and show you how differently this helmet is, but when you think about that, less helmet and less mass equals less rider fatigue, but also less air mass or less pushing of the, of the wind as you're at speed. So when, you're, when you have a smaller shape, you're getting a, a more aerodynamic helmet just by default because you're now moving less air. So if you're a medium head, you're not wearing that large shell, you're getting to cut back on all levels. The other thing I want to talk about, which is really a key feature change among many changes here in the Armada, is the fit. You know, I was on the phone with Icon, we were talking through really their approach to it, and we really agreed on, we're calling this a tack fit. Just like in Icon clothing, do you have sport fit? And I would consider an Alliance or an Airframe sport fit. And then we have a tack fit. And a tack fit's gonna be what I and a lot of other senses call race fit for some other helmets. So it's more all encompassing. It's more contoured around the face. You're gonna feel it. it's still a long oval front to back. So it's that longer front to back shape, kind of like my head is more of a long oval, fitting in line with something like an RF 1100, something along those lines. But it's gonna be all encompassing. One thing I wanna point out is look at the way the neck roll comes together. Look how tight this hole and this open is. It shouldn't be easy on, easy off. This is a more performance driven helmet. You know, we saw Steve Atlas on Team Icon Bramo on the racetrack in this helmet. This is a helmet that's meant to be all encompassing, be quiet down here for more aggressive riding situations and add a nice contour to the face. So this bad boy is gonna stay in place at 120 miles an hour, whether you're on the track or you're on the highway. Now, other features to consider. You know, we've had the Alliance that vents well. We've had the airframe that vents well as well. And years ago when they designed the airframe from, from Icon, we had those 45 degree tooled vent holes through the EPSs to channel air to the head. We're still using them, but now we're just adding more. So you have seven intakes here on the Armada, and we have six extractors in the back. The nice key feature is that all of the previous Icon helmets have added, they've had great ventilation at speed. And now what we're seeing with the addition of this very easy usable or easily used um, brow vent, it's two vents right here on the five or on the front here. That's how we go from five vents to seven. Two intakes vent directly to the forehead. What you're getting is great airflow at low speed. So whether you're high speed or low speed, you're gonna have the ability to cool yourself off in this helmet. And that's the type of thing where if you have a helmet that vents well, but it only vents well at speed, if you're riding around the city, if you're at low speed, if you're stuck in traffic, a lot of times guys will have a tendency to take these helmets off. And as a piece of protective apparel that you need to wear to keep yourself safe while you are taking a risk on two wheels potentially. You want to have it be comfortable so it's not getting in your way of enjoying the ride, but it's also going to keep you safe. You know, regarding some of the other ventilation on the Icon Armada, so you have your chin vent, newly restyled. This guy is going to vent to the shield up through the breath guard. And then here we have on all of the mesh vents, it's stamped aluminum. So that's not a piece of aluminum roll, it's actually stamped and it's custom fit for that shape, for that size, built in here, it's a machined piece. 
And what these chin vents are going to vent to is if I pull it back around here on the back of the inside of the shell, you can see open and close, easily found with your finger with a glove on, to position either halfway open or halfway closed, and they're operable from the inside of the helmet. So we talked about the brow moving up here to the chimney, one switch, open and closed, and you can see they're monster holes. And on the inside of the EPS, when I pull everything out, you're going to see that these vent holes, we like to think that premium helmets have 10 millimeter vent holes. These vent holes are actually triangular in their shape and they're even bigger. Now we have our extractors, we have our wing, it goes all the way back, you have channels through the EPS, and now we get to our Venturis. High speed air coming off the sphere, it's gonna create a vacuum back here. It's gonna wanna help pull and suck that warm moist air off of your head and out of the helmet. We have two at the top here that actually are a high and a low inside the EPS. And as we move down to these extractors over here behind the ears, these are functional too. And they also have, they also are going to have that stamped aluminum that's built in to cover that panel. But that's a hole in the EPS that's gonna vent out. I'll show you, we have our little winglets down here, but these are actually non-functional. That's just a style piece that's built into this PVC expanded neck roll. On top of that, we've actually, we're using now here in the Armada, a new style shield. So the benefit of this shield, it's called Icon Optics. We've seen the Pro Shield for a long time. Icon Optics is standing on top of the foundation of the Pro Shield, which is optically correct, class one. It's going to be anti-fog, UV free, and now we're taking it, and here with the Icon Optic Shield, which is designed for the Armada, you're actually getting five more degrees of peripheral vision on both sides. So we measured it was about another inch of circumference here when we take a tape, a soft tape, and pull it across. So you're getting better peripheral vision here out of your Icon Optic Shield. Notice it's a larger tab for better leverage. It's now a steel pin. That's a heavy duty locking mechanism so that this helmet can be worn on the track, a little bit easier to operate, but also it's gonna stay put. And then when we pull our shield up, notice that our side pods are replaceable. They are built onto the shield itself. We're using another rapid release system or a new rapid release system from Icon. So we have that great gasket that goes all the way around the shield. And now it's even easier than it was in the past. If we remember the Alliance and the airframe, they used to have those little orange tabs that would pop out in the up position and you gotta find them. Now all you do is you put your shield all the way up you can feel it, I'm not even looking at it. Pull it back with my finger and it pops right off. And there's your shield change mechanism up top here. And to put it back on, all I'm gonna do is line it up in the top position, snap it, and I'm all done. Very, very simple. And remember, Icon Optics, these shields, they'll all be fog free, they'll all have all of those features, but you can buy the dark smoke, you can get the clear, the iridium ones. There's a lot of different options there as well. You know, moving into the guts of the Armada, you know, we've talked about aerodynamics, we've talked about venting, the new shield mechanism, some of the new vents and the new fit pattern. Moving into the guts, you're gonna see when I start to pull this out that we see our same double D-ring that we've always had here with Icon. I'm gonna pull out my Hydrodry cheek pads. So again, the guts on these helmets are gonna play off the same playbook that we've seen. It's antimicrobial, it's wicking, it's almost that microfiber material which is gonna be very comfortable against your face, very easy to remove, swap out, and this is actually a large that I have in front of me. Notice it's very complete from Icon. You even have the Icon um, stamped logo in the PVC holding this together. Pulling it out, pull the other side out as well. Remember, they're premium. We'll see on the airframe or some of the variant helmets, it'll be a little more expensive. You might have a print on these. Here for the Armada, to get it under that $200 mark, you know, for starting with your glosses and your Rubitone, to do that, they're not putting any of the design here on the cheek pads themselves or the comfort liner. But you can see that as we go through here. And then I'm gonna pull, and I wanna show you a few different things here as I pull it out. In the back here, at the bottom of your head, you're never gonna feel this. This is below what they call the occipital ridge of your head, this padded area. So it's real easy to put two snaps way out of the way. You never have issues with them here on our 3D Comfort Liner. But I will tell you where it connects in the front matters. And here on the Armada, you're gonna see that they've done what I really like, which is have that Comfort Liner actually connect on the actual EPS of the helmet away from the circumference of your forehead. If you put snaps here on the front of the helmet, it can absolutely create pressure points depending on your head shape. It's nice that Icon hasn't done that. Notice here as well that we have a big scoop and this scoop is actually going to eject air that comes in through the brow vents. And when I pull this, EP, or this comfort liner out, You'll see me pulling out my comfort liner. Again, comfort liners that work this way, that connect between the EPS, sometimes they're a little trickier, but the benefit is worth the trickiness. And when I pull that out, you're gonna see these big channels here. Right there, you have 
big channels that are going to be fed from that brow vent. They're going to come in and vent directly to your forehead and they're going to vent directly back. So again, you have better ventilation at low speed than you've ever had with an Icon helmet. Moving into our comfort liner, mesh line, 3D in its shape, it's premium. It's going to be the most padded with a limited amount of seams that go around the outside of your head and again, leaves you cut out so you're going to get that great airflow. And then moving into our guts of our EPS here, you're going to see the shape of the cutaway on the inside, starting with our big extractors, moving towards the front of the helmet. You see the big chimney vents. Notice the triangular hole right there, that triangular hole. You can see that that's bigger than 10 millimeter. And we rant and rave about the fact that some of our other helmet brands use a 10 millimeter hole. I'll also say that it comes in on an angle. So what you have is the air coming in straight to your head. So whether you're upright, whether you're three quarter, or whether you're tucked, because of that angle of the EPS cutout, that channel is cut directly to your head, you don't have to be getting, you don't have to be going 80 miles an hour to have the air forced in to make a right angle to shoot down at your head. You have the ability to have that air come directly through to your head. So again, it optimizes for low speed venting. So remember, while the Air Mod is only a few more dollars to start with than the Alliance, I think it's a dramatic leap forward in helmet technology from Icon. You have to remember that it's still that longer, to intermediate to longer oval head shape, so it's not going to fit everybody, it's not going to fit you guys with round head shapes, but it is, it is in line with what we see from the Alliance. It's also that attack fit. So some of you guys out there that don't like their helmet as all-encompassing or as tight of a fit, you have to keep that in mind. But don't worry. you know. We ship for free, exchange for free, and no restock fee if you get it and it doesn't fit you. You have to swap it out for a new size or if you just want to return it. As far as color schemes go, this is the stack. This is the Four Horsemen, their launch graphics. We have a Rubitone. We have the gloss colors, which are going to be our solids here from Icon in the Armada. And from here, you'd step up into a tricomposite shell, which would be the airframe, which is the big brother up from this helmet or some of the more uh, bigger ticket helmets that use a bit of a different shell construction versus the polycarbonate as you go into the variant, as you go into the carbon fiber versions and the airframe up from there. So I certainly want to hear your feedback on the new Icon Armada helmet. The venting scheme, the look, the profile, the fit, how is this going to fit within your, you know, your expectations from what you're getting for a, a helmet that's going to start $200? Leave us your review on our product page. Click right here to subscribe on Revzilla TV, our YouTube channel. Join the conversation, join the comments on our YouTube page at Revzilla TV. If you want to talk further, about the Icon Armada, fire us off a line. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Everybody on our staff is a gear geek. We all ride extensively. We wear a lot of the products, if not all of the products that we try to review here at RevZilla.com. Call us up, myself and my team. We are the first gear geeks, and now there's a bunch of us you can chat you know, at length about any of the Icon product or any of the helmets that we carry about or carry on RevZilla.com. Like I said, it ships for free, exchange for free, no restock if you need to send it back to us. And you can find the Icon Armada at RevZilla.com slash Icon. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Icon Armada helmet available at RevZilla.com slash Icon. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.